Good morning, my loves. Today I am going to be doing what I eat in a day slash follow me around vlog style. Um, so today it is about seven o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to go to the gym. So I'm gonna start with making my pre-workout and my BCAAs. So what I use is Mr. Hyde. Um, this flavor is lollipop punch um this stuff is great if it gives you if you want like to feel itchy and get a lot of pump and just go all for it um at your workout i normally take this on an empty stomach but if you're not used to taking any pre-workouts i wouldn't recommend it on an empty stomach just because it does even hurt my stomach a little bit but i like this stuff and then for my bcaa's I take the Extend ones, and this one is Strawberry Kiwi. Um, so I have my little blender bottle here. I put my BCAAs in here. I just do one scoop. Sometimes a little bit more if I'm feeling a little bit more for the drink, for the flavor. And then I just, that goes on the bottom of this one. And then for my pre-workout, I do one scoop. Um, I've heard of people taking two scoops of this, but there ain't no way I would be able to function on two scoops. I'd be at the gym all day, which I guess that's what you want. Stay a little bit longer. This will help. So I just do one scoop. I fill the water. I like to do about six to eight ounces, not any more than that. Give it a good shake. Make sure you close it all the way. And then for my gym attire, um, I have the Gymshark seamless leggings, the new ones that they just came out with in the steel blue. And then this little crop top, this is just from Target, from the Wild Fable line. Um, I don't know if they still have it anymore, but it was like when they first came out with their line. I bought a couple of these and they just work great at the gym. Um, but yeah, it's my outfit. Give a little pose. And today I'm working out back in buys. And I will see you after the gym. just got done with my workout um, I did back in buys and I did that for about an hour and a half and I was gonna do cardio but I just wasn't feeling it and I looked like a hot mess so I did about 15 minutes 20 minutes of playing basketball um, I always believe that if you hate cardio do something you like and I love basketball I used to play when I was younger um, and it gets you moving so it's better than nothing is how I see it. And I did about 10 minutes in the sauna. Um, I started doing that just a little bit more, maybe three times a week going to the sauna just because I think it helps with like my muscles recover. Um, it makes me feel better. I like to just sweat it out a little bit. 
and I also think it's been helping with my skin. I mean, not right now because it's really bad, but I just feel like it makes me feel better and loosens up my muscles. My muscles recover quicker. Um, so now I'm just gonna head home and have breakfast. It's about nine o'clock, nine fifteen, and I'm starving. My belly is talking. I need to get food. Probably won't have any coffee today. I'm probably gonna just stick with green tea. I usually do drink coffee, but the past couple of weeks, it's been maybe a month, and I really haven't had coffee, just haven't been craving it. And I don't know if that's just because I've been working out and eating better, and my body's just more awake because of that. Uh, but I'm just trying to stay away from coffee. So, we will have breakfast. I'm thinking of having a pumpkin smoothie, a homemade pumpkin smoothie, and I'll show you guys how to make that. So right now, for breakfast, I am going to make a pumpkin smoothie. Um, so what I start off with is I use cashew milk. I use a cup of that. So I use about a cup. Put that in. I usually use one banana, frozen banana, but I had a banana and a half frozen, so I'm just going to use the rest of that, especially since it's going to be for my breakfast. And, and then we're going to use pumpkin puree. I just had this huge one from Sam's. I'll use about half a cup of that. half a cup. You can add a little bit more if you like. It's really all up to your taste. I like to measure everything out. So it's a little bit more than half, but that's okay. I like pumpkin. Put that in there. And then I'm going to add some pancake syrup. I might use the calorie-free uh, Walden Farms, this one. I get it at GMC. Oh, no, not GMC. Um, vitamin Shop. And you just shake it up really good because you don't want all that stuff settling at the bottom. I just put maybe a tablespoon, teaspoon maybe. Yeah, we're going to go with a tablespoon today. And then I'm going to put a little vanilla extract in it, just a little bit, because vanilla can go a long way. I just had to go buy it because I ran out yesterday. So we're just going to add a little bit. Okay, so I have that. And then I'm going to add a protein. Um, I've been using the GNC AMP subs substance protein blend, the seven hour blend. Um, and this is the only brand that I found that I really like. It doesn't upset my stomach. Um, I try to usually take it before I go to bed, but today since I had a really good workout uh, and I worked out in the morning, I'm just going to use it now. Give it more of that pumpkin pie flavor. I'm not gonna add a little, I'm gonna add a lot. I like cinnamon. And then we're just gonna blend. Take a little 
spatula and get the stuff off the side. Make sure you get everything blended really good. Okay, and then I'm gonna blend some more. Packet of sugar of the Truvia, or however you pronounce this thing, um, just to give it a little bit more sweetness. Tried it once without it, wasn't that great. So I'm just gonna put one packet. And you don't have to add it, it's optional. I mean, all this stuff is optional. So. smoothies thicker. I don't like it watery. Um, so this one is kind of very, very thick. And if you don't want it as thick, you just add more, you can add ice to it, you can add more milk. Um, but I like mine nice and thick. Sometimes you even eat it with a spoon. Oh yeah, that's good. That's real good. All right. And then I put mine in the refrigerator for about 10 to 15 minutes just because I like it super cold and I, I don't like adding more ice because it waters it down. So I'm just going to put it in there for 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll try it out. So it's been about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm ready to eat my smoothie. Well, drink it. See how it is. Delicious. Every time. It gets better and better. Well, because I originally fell in love with the pumpkin pie smoothie. I don't know if you guys tried it at um, Tropical Smoothie. And I know it has a lot of calories in there and I don't know exactly what they put in it. So I wanted to make it at home and try to replicate it. I think it did pretty dang good. Um, it doesn't have the white chocolate that they have there, but I can live without that. Uh, that's just too many calories added. Um, I always get it, but I ask for Splenda. I don't like the sugar that they put in there. I just like to use Splenda. Um, but when I'm home, I try not to use any kind of sugar besides that one packet of Trivia. I try to cut down on my sugar intake. So I came up with that and it's really good and it's a lot cheaper um, than keep going to uh, a tropical smoothie. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and watch some shows and relax and drink my smoothie. So I'm still feeling a little bit hungry. This smoothie's not really holding me over. So I'm gonna make a scrambled egg, two scrambled eggs with onion, feta cheese, um, and I'm gonna have an English muffin on the side with a little bit of the vegan butter that I have.
this is what it looks like. I did a little bit of ham inside of it. Um, instead of using the vegan butter, I used the vegan, this vegan mayonnaise, which I'm not a huge fan of mayonnaise, but this one, I don't know if it's just because it's vegan or what they do, but it tastes so much better than regular mayonnaise. And then I use Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. So for my next meal, I'm going to have some one sausage, some asparagus, and some squash. And the way I actually cook this, it's just leftovers from last night, um, was actually in this air fryer. If you guys don't have this, I'm telling you, you need to get it. It's really good. Target had it on a really good sale, so I just purchased it and I've been loving it ever since. So I'll just be having this for my lunch. Also, I added just a little bit of mustard to, me, to my sausage, um, and if you guys want me to do some recipes and show you how I use the air fryer, leave a comment down below, um, and I'll do that. So for dinner, and I know you guys are going to judge me on this, I wasn't really feeling anything too big, so what I did is some cottage cheese, which this is the cottage cheese that I use. Um, it's the only one I found that I really like get it at Sam's, good price. I put some sriracha and pepper in it. Normally I put tomatoes in it, but my tomatoes weren't good, so I had to do it without tomatoes. And then I did an English muffin with the Trader Joe's cookie butter. Um, if you guys haven't had this, go get it, it's delicious. But I wasn't feeling too much on like a big meal, so I just wanted to do a little, like this would be my dinner and my dessert, just to keep it a little bit healthier. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I think I'm going to end the vlog for tonight. Um, this is just what I eat in a day, what I do on my day off. Um, if you guys would like more videos like this, like, comment, share. Um, but let me know what you would like in my next video. Um, if you want me to do more of these, maybe show you a little bit more of different recipes that I do every day. Um, but yeah, that's it. Bye!